Get on me old booties, how's it going? So, Trent Guitars reached out to me and offered me to try out his tester guitar that he's got. I'm going around doing the rounds at the minute, so I'm off to pick it up from Joe at Guitar Nerds. He's about half an hour down the road from me, so I'm gonna go and pick it up off him on this rainy Saturday morning and uh, check it out. He's just got back from Joe's and I've got the guitar down here. So um, I will confess, I did have a quick look at it at Joe's, but Let's check it out. But here we go. Dun 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 da. Hey, how cool's that? Nice yellow, black guard kind of vibe, isn't it? P nineties, hard tail. Kind of uh, mimicking a sort of telly control plate there. Offset, so it's kind of a bit of a mix, isn't it? A bit like a jazz master, sort of squared off jazz master vibes, and then it's got some sort of hints to a telecaster. Nice headstock. So a little noodle. Well, get on me old booties, what's on? So today I have this rather cool Trent Guitars Model 1 to show you. This is handmade by one person on the south coast of England. And uh, let's go through some of the specs. So we've got an Obici body. He also does Poplar as well. So Obici is kind of sort of a bit mahogany-esque if you like. It's got that kind of tight grain on it. And um, we've got a uh, maple neck, rosewood board, We've got, in this model, we've actually got iron gear pickups, which are kind of like some budget pickups just for this model, but that he sent out as a tester guitar. But on the full Model 1, it'll have bare knuckle pickups, Goto hardware, Tusk nut, uh, CTS control pots, and Switchcraft jack. So basically all the good stuff, right? Everything top end that you would spec out yourself, Goto, bare knuckles, CTS, Switchcraft, all the good shit. Um, so he also does this rather cool, I'm sure we can see it there, open pour water-based finish. So he can, I believe he is the only person making vegan guitars, which is pretty cool. So this is a vegan finish. Um, you can also do a sort of glossy, shiny finish, but um, that will cost you a bit more. So this is the standard Model 1. This will cost you 1350 I believe, with a Hiscox hard case. If you want to have like a shiny, glossy finish, then I believe that costs a little bit more. But apart from that, I think everything else you can get for that price. So you can get the full bare knuckles, all the great hardware and uh, pots and switches and all the good shit, basically. <laughs> So, very kind of familiar feeling guitar. The balance is really nice sitting down as well. You can see it sits really nicely when I'm sitting, no, no neck dive or anything. So, it's kind of got a lot of Fender vibe to it, right? So we've got the 25 and a half inch scale length. So, anyone who doesn't know what that is, that's the distance between the nut and the bridge here, okay? So 25 and a half inch is what Fender use. Um, Gibson use a slightly shorter one, for example. So if you're used to playing a Fender guitar, you're going to be used to this is going to feel at home for you so it's kind of got an offset vibe you know like a jazz master meets telecaster kind of thing going on so it kind of looks a bit sort of jazz master-esque the horns are kind of you know changed a little bit and it's a bit smaller body wise than the jazz master but it's certainly got that kind of jazz master-esque offset feel meets a kind of telecaster especially with this control plate just your volume and tone control and they're like within easy reach as well, right? So if you want to do volume swells. So if you want to do volume swells, volume controls nice and closely located so you can get to those easy ways on a Telecaster a little bit further away. So basically it kind of feels really familiar to me. You've got the string through as well, like a Telecaster, solid workhorse of a guitar and it's great. So there's not really much I would change on it. I would probably go for, he does a model with the Telecaster bridge with the single um. coil and then the P90 humbucker. So personally, if I was going to spec one out myself, I'd go for the Telecaster bridge rather than the kind of Strat-esque bridge. So even though that is a hardtail, there's no vibrato on that. Um, just aesthetically, I think I would go with the Tele bridge just because it kind of matched the control plate as well. But I'm just being, you know, this is my own personal preference if I was going to spec one out as a customer. You can see there's some nice contouring on the forearm there. It's just subtle, but you can see it. 
Okay, so as I was saying, charges thirteen fifty for this model, and that's fully customizable. Um, so you can choose your choice of pickups, hardware, all that stuff. You can choose your scale length. Basically, a fully customized guitar for thirteen fifty, which is crazy good value. Um, it's really solid work. I can definitely attest to it being a really cleanly made, high quality instrument. If you wanted to upgrade the finish to a shiny finish, if you went into the open pour kind of look then that will cost you a little bit extra. Um, I think it's 1600 or 1500 I'll have to check with Elliot on that. But um, it's a super great guitar. Really can't knock it in any ways. It plays really nice. So enough of me blabbering. Let's plug it in, see how it sounds. So I am plugged straight into my interface via a Joyo American Sound pedal which has kind of got like a Tech 21 Sans Amp feel. I would have gone into my Hello Sailor filmer sound but unfortunately to go through that and then monitor it whilst I'm recording the video is just a little bit technically challenging so you're still going to get, it sounds great this, this pedal anyway so it's got a real nice amp sound. And I'm also plugged into my Surfy Bear reverb pedal which is a monster and it sounds amazing. So. Let's check it out. Here we go. So I've got the it's pretty clean. It could be a little bit cleaner, but everyone like we all like a bit of grit, right? So, bridge pickup. Kind of what you expect, really, that kind of bright, skanky bridge P90 sound. Pretty honky. Into the middle position. So I love dual P90 pickup. You know, I play a Jazzmaster. I know they're P100s, but I love the kind of contrast. You just get three really fucking great pickup sounds, right? You get your bridge, which is just pure filth. You get your middle, so you get that in between sound. So you can kind of get that. You know, it sounds a bit like positions two and four on a strat as well. You just get that nice bit of contrast, that kind of hollowness to it. Then on to the neck pickup. Lovely warm mid range P90 vibes. Can't really go wrong with the two pickup P90 setup. Warm neck, nice in between sound in the middle, bit more clarity, less warmth, and then the bridge, that nice honky kind of mid rangey bridge sounds. So don't forget, you could spec any pickups you want. I'm sure if you said to him, oh, I like this particular set, you could put them in. So bare knuckles are standard and they're as price as they get, right? So say you wanted some, I don't know, Mojo Tone, Sun Bear, whatever boutique, you know, pickups you like, you could, I'm sure he would accommodate your needs there as well. Mm -hmm. 
So I've got a little loop that I made here um, to kind of demonstrate some of the different sounds. I've got a nice kind of like funky rhythm part on the middle pickup, some lush chords on the neck pickup, and then a little funky line on the bridge pickup. So let's check it out. Nice, not bad, fourth just from this guitar. Um, so as you can probably tell, I, I really like this guitar. Um, <laughs> I've been teaching on it for the last couple of weeks. I've had it for now a couple of weeks now. Um, it's been, basically been the only guitar I've played for about two weeks, or only electric guitar I've played for two weeks. And um, it's great. I love it. I would um, happily buy or own one. You know, super solid guitar, absolute workhorse of an instrument. Um, yeah, I literally, I can't fault it. It's really solid. It's really well made. Um, so if you like this stuff, and you want to get yourself a completely handmade UK built guitar for under 1500 quid, then hit up Elliot from Trent Guitars because he'll do you proud. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications and all that other shit everyone else tells you to do. And until next time, see you later me old booties.